you would not believe how fast uh, coding with AI makes you. Fascinating because so you both of you learned coding recently and you guys build interview coder, which is going to help, which has already helped, you know, how many, how many programmers out there? Uh, probably like 20,000. 20,000 programmers crack, you know, big yeah. tech and interviews. This is fascinating. And you build it in one week and you debugged and like, you know, made it beautiful in another week. So both of you in two weeks with limited programming experience. I mean, it sounds easy now with AI tools out there, but I really want to know the details. How did it happen in just two weeks of work? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, like I feel like a AI makes programming going from zero to one really, really quick. Uh, it's always much harder to build something very scalable, but 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 ju just to build that first iteration to proof of concept, right now it is faster than it has ever been, and you would not believe how fast uh, coding with AI makes you. Um, if you if you know the basics and you have the vision in your head, you can sort of like make anything you want come to reality. But it comes with the right prompt. Um, yeah. But here comes the difficult challenge with wipe coding that most of the you know wipe coders don't understand that it still lacks with debugging skills. I think. Cloud code is still up there and Devin is up there for debugging, but you cannot rely, as you said, as the code base gets bigger and bigger, you cannot rely on just wipe coding. Yeah, I mean, generally, I think debugging is sort of like, like at, at a certain point, you know, you do please fix 10 times in a row and it doesn't <laughs> fix. And as a certain point, you kind of, you kind of have to get in there and like figure it out yourself. So yeah, but like the models get better every day. Yeah, I think similar to that, but I, I think also that beyond just like saying please fix, I think you can do it. You can go a long way with just saying like 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 you can use AI to explain the code to you as well. I think that's like a like a big intermediate step. Like you versus you going to Stack Overflow and actually reading like the lines, like you just like asking it to explain things and, and thinking it through. Um, I think there's like an intermediate there, there's an intermediate step between please fix and not using AI, which is like actually using it to understand what's going on and fix it from there.